Good old Miss Ellie. Played by actress Eleanor Donahue, Ellie Walker made 12 appearances on The Andy Griffith Show during season one and then disappeared. Eleanor had signed a three-year contract. So what happened? Why did she leave? And most importantly, the purpose of this video is to answer the question, what was the real-life relationship between Eleanor Donahue and Andy Griffith like? And could it have led to her early departure? Now before I get too far into this video, I want to state for the record just how much I adore The Andy Griffith Show. It's one of those programs that, during these tumultuous times, it provides me with a bit of an escape, even if it is just for 30 minutes. Okay, so you get it, right? I love the show. I'm a huge fan. And I'm also a big fan of this lady, Eleanor Donahue. So let's get back to her. For years, fans have hypothesized about what could have happened. When questioned in the past, both Andy and Eleanor have stated that they just didn't feel like the chemistry was there between the two characters, and that has often taken fans down this rat hole of trying to figure out what that really meant. What did they mean by chemistry? Did they get along on set, or did Eleanor feel unwelcome for whatever reason? Personally, I beg to differ when it comes to both Andy and Eleanor saying that their characters lacked chemistry. To make my case, I'd point you to the Christmas episode from Season 1, where Andy and Ellie sing away in a manger together. Such a beautiful duet. It really is a very precious moment from that first season of the show. Sure, the characters of Andy and Ellie would sometimes find themselves at odds with each other, but even then I still felt like the two had chemistry. Yes, there was an age difference between the actors and the characters on screen, but you know what? Chemistry doesn't always have to mean romantic chemistry. Truthfully, I would have loved to have seen Ellie stick around, even if it ultimately meant that she and Andy just ended up as friends on the show. Alright, so with all that said, it's time to share the truth, candidly shared by Eleanor herself a few years ago. It was 2010 to be exact. Eleanor was attending Mayberry Days in Mount Airy and was participating in a Q&A that year where she had answered specific questions about all sorts of things, including her early departure. Instead of saying anything about chemistry, this time Eleanor told the audience that she was just burnt out. She'd been acting for years and at the time had a three-year-old child that she was raising on her own because she'd just gotten divorced. It was really a perfect storm of stress that was rolling her way. To quote Eleanor at that event, she said, I was not a happy camper. So she went to her manager and told him that she just couldn't continue. It was all too much. I believe at the time Eleanor was just a young girl in her early 20s. So the manager did what any good manager would do and he got her out of that contract. At the same Q&A session, Eleanor went on to describe her working relationship with Andy Griffith, which she said was great. In fact, she said the whole cast was very kind to her during her time on the show. She also talked at length about that Christmas episode, and in particular, how kind and patient Griffith had been with her as she battled some insecurities that she had around singing that duet with him. So my friends, despite speculation from time to time that there might have been issues between Andy and Eleanor, it seems like the truth is that their relationship was a solid one, a friendship built upon mutual respect and admiration. And maybe, just maybe, to give Eleanor a little bit of privacy, that's why both of them stuck with that whole chemistry line for so long. So, even though way back then Eleanor wasn't a happy camper, now she relishes the time that she spent on that classic TV show, and because of that, she returns to Mount Airy for Mayberry Days whenever she can. By the way, no one does a better job of documenting Mayberry Days and all things related to Andy Griffith than Alan Newsom. Aside from being an awesome Floyd the Barber tribute artist, Alan, week after week, delivers fascinating information about The Andy Griffith Show on his Two Chairs No Waiting podcast. In fact, the Q&A session where Eleanor talked about her relationship with Andy came from one of his podcasts. If you don't subscribe to podcasts on your smartphone, I'd recommend checking out his YouTube channel as he posts each podcast episode there as well. Speaking of Mayberry Days, it's not that far away. End of September, and yes, that's Alan up there in the upper right-hand corner. 
If you're interested in attending, just search for Mayberry Days on Facebook and you'll be directed to the festival's page there. Or, if you're not a Facebook fan, you can find much of the same information by going directly to maybearydays.org. Alright, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section, and while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.